Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from Numbugs Project, and today we're gonna see a Java challenge about comparator. So I'm gonna just share my screen here. Okay, so this is the challenge. We have a set interface with the instance of a tree set, and then we are adding several elements here. You must know uh, the Simpson series, so we are adding Homer, Marge, Lisa, Bart, and Maggie. And then we are creating a release adding all of those elements into it. And then we are reversing the order of it. And in the end, we are just iterating all of them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We also have a Pojo here that uh, implements comparable and with the method compare to and also to a string. So I'm gonna give you some time and then feel free to come up with the answer when you're ready. So are you ready to see the answer? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna run the, the program here. <sighs> Ta -da -da. Oh yeah, so right, oh, yeah. Yes. oh man. Ronaldo, you got it right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see why. So this one is very tricky, guys. So if you got this one wrong, you're going to learn. So that's good. Um, so the first thing to realize here is that we are using a tree set. So when we use a tree set, automatically um, those elements will be um, sorted. So here in the first one, I will just debug it. Then it's going to be easier to show you. OK, so yeah. Are just uh, loading those classes. Okay, so here you can see that the set interface has um, actually in in the first iteration, it's gonna be the inverse order. So why it's gonna be the inverse order? It's because the compare to method was implemented on the inverse. So we got the object passed here, and uh, we reversed the compare to. So if we had done that, this name dot compare to the other object, then it would be the, the normal order. But as we done the opposite, then uh, it's, it's, it's gonna just, sort the elements on the inverse order. So that's why you can see here the elements like that. So Marge, Maggie, Lisa, Homer, and Bart. OK? So then um, we instantiate this array list. And we're going to add all the set elements into this list. But then when we add all those elements into this list, we are re reversing what was already inversed. <laughs> so it's very tricky. It's very, very tricky. So when we reverse something that is reversed, it goes to the normal order, OK? So yeah, you can see that this list now is Bart, Homer, Lisa, Maggie, in March. So yeah, that's why. And I really get it that it's it's really tricky. Um, and uh, many developers got uh, this challenge uh, wrong. So um, yeah, it's it's not an easy one. I mean, mainly for because of this trick here that is inverted. So we, we can uh, do the opposite. If we change that, it would be the, the answer from Rodrigo. Yeah, it, it would be your answer, Rodrigo. So let me just show to you, compare to you. Yeah, Marge, Maggie, Lisa, Homer, and Bart. Yeah, because it, it makes sense. Because if the compare to implementation 
is in the natural order here it would be the, the normal order so let's just debug here I'm gonna show you quickly so yeah the set interface would have the elements in the right order okay because the tree set uses the compare to method so this method will be invoked into the tree set um, class so yeah and uh, here we would add our elements from the set interface and then we would reverse it and when we reverse it it would be the normal reversed order so yeah then it would be marge maggie lisa homer and bart and uh, we can even see here if uh... so you can see that in that method uh the comparator is used and all the comparison that uh, is necessary to the tree set is uh, just made here. And just one observation is that if you use um, an element, uh, an object that is not comparable, we're going to have uh, an exception. So let me just show you here. So if we run that, we're going to have an exception. Yeah, class cast exception. So the tree set only accepts uh, a class that has the comparable interface implemented. If you don't have it, you will have class cast exception. You won't be able to add an element into it. So yeah. Let's see here if we can find. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, do you have any questions, guys? Yes, uh, I do, uh, Rafael. So, okay. and you don't need the compare to when you are doing the reverse uh, using the collections uh, class, right? Uh, that's what my understanding is when you basically use the compare to. So, in a array list, it's a bit different because. Uh, a list is uh, is an ordered collection. So, right. for example, when you use a hash set, it's not ordered. It's uh, the elements that I put here. Uh, they are gonna be added in a random way. So I, I can just show you quickly. Yeah. So you can see that when we uh, instantiate the set interface with a hash set the elements will be added in a random way. There won't be any order. So you see that Bart is in the middle here. So yeah, that's uh, one a disadvantage of uh, using hash set. On the other hand, the list is ordered. It's, um, it's an ordered collection. So if we add all the elements from the set interface here, it will be added exactly in the order that was uh, firstly inserted here. So it will be the same, exactly the same. You can, you can see that Bart will be in the middle here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then, so as uh, a list interface is an ordered uh, collection, it, it won't be based on the comparable. So it, it won't uh, even invoke this. I can show you, can, uh, let's let's make a test here. Uh, so let's just remove the comparable. Uh, let's see. So what's gonna happen here, uh, Faha? It's gonna add the elements exact in the order that was added here firstly. And then you're gonna reverse it, and it's gonna be the inverse order. It's gonna be Maggie, Bart, Lisa, Marge, and Homer. I can show you debugging it. Yeah, so we're gonna add all those elements. So now we've got here Homer, Marge. Yeah, exactly as we added, differently from the hash set. And then we're gonna reverse it, 
And when we reverse it, it's going to be Mar Maggie, Bart, Lisa, Marge, and Homer. I can show you. Yeah, Maggie, Bart, Lisa, Marge, and Homer. Okay, so it's going to be the inverse of it. It's because list is an ordered interface and set is not ordered. Set is an ordered. Okay, so that's cool, it. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have any further questions? No, that would be all. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Farha. Okay, thanks, guys. I'm just gonna just sh uh, stop sharing my screen here. Okay, so that was the challenge about uh, the comparator and uh, not the the comparator about uh, comparable and about uh, the set interface tree set how you can um, sort your uh, arrays and uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be useful to know that because sometimes you just need to. Um, sort your uh, array list or your uh, yeah your collection in general so it's really useful to know that and because uh, it's, it's really common to use that on your day-to-day uh, -day work so that that was it for today guys and uh, if you like the video just give a like and get subscribed uh, because then you're going to be able to watch the videos uh, and uh, you're going to uh, be notified when there is a new video and then if, if you get subscribed, you're going to help me to create more content for you. And I'm going to create better content if you subscribe. So yeah, and if you want to know more, go to nobugspurge.com. And then you, you, there is a section there called uh, Java Dev Gym. And then you can uh, practice your Java skills there. And uh, yeah, you, you can just uh, get better. That's it, guys. So see you next time.